My name's Michael Keith. I, I'm a stonemason by trade. It's been 40 years I think, since I left the the military, and, and I've been a, in construction and particularly stonemasonry for at least 35 to 40 years. You know, uh, cornerstones have uh, been around from the very beginning of building. I mean, not just present day. In, in today's world, we see a plaque on the side of a building and it, it gives information about the builder and the building. But a true cornerstone, before the industrial age, I mean, the cornerstone was the first stone that was laid for a building and uh, that stone became the and the measuring line for the building. So uh, a cornerstone had to be, and, and always was, you know, the best piece of stone. Uh, it was a marker stone, not just to identify the builder and the grade of stone, but to be the first immovable object from which the rest of the building took its direction and its orientation. So the cornerstone, over time, I've read of, of many different ceremonies that are done laying the cornerstone. But in today's world, it's just, uh, it's just ceremonial. But uh, before the industrial age and all the way back throughout history, cornerstone has been the key mark stone that the rest of the building took its orientation from. And even in the Bible it says that Jesus as a cornerstone was, uh, by the builders, he was a stone that they rejected because they, they thought, and in the analogy of picking a cornerstone, it needs to be a pure representation of the stone that the rest of the building is made out of. And um, if in the future there was some need to, to do more work on that, building or replace something that got damaged, uh, you would go to the cornerstone to see the, the true pure representation of, of that grade of stone so you would know what was proper to use to restore. So there are elements in the cornerstone that are in all the rest of the stones throughout the building, but the key part of that cornerstone is it had to be a, a pure piece of stone without any imperfections or fissure lines where where it might one day decompose itself. It was a, a good, solid, true stone. Most often, uh, as I understand, a cornerstone was laid in, in uh, the, the prominent corner of the building, and there were two directions that the stone would go laterally, the rest of the building, and it would, uh, uh, a line, a measuring line would be used down both corners of the cornerstone to lay out the structure so that it was mathematically true. Mm -hmm. And then it was also plumb. A plumb line is something that is uh, a vertical measurement. And all the rest of the stones of the building, so the building wasn't, you know, mm -hmm. off center, that that cornerstone was, was also the plumb line for the building. You know, when they set that cornerstone, it needed to be an immovable, stationary piece that uh, these measurements can be taken from. A wonderful analogy about Jesus. I mean, he is our immovable measuring line, you know, where we take our orientation from him. And we take, uh, I think in Isaiah it says that uh, it compares that plumb line to the righteousness of measuring line as, as the justice and I can see that you know God exercises justice in the earth and so that's like here laterally in our lives but uh, a plumb line which comes from above and you hang a string from above and you hang down a weight that's on that string and when it comes to rest that is a true perfect um, vertical line and, and Isaiah says that that God calls that the plumb line of righteousness. And righteousness comes from heaven, you know, it comes down and points exactly what is right. 
in Isaiah 28, uh, where Isaiah is, he is talking to the people of the day saying, woe to the crown of pride. You know, they were lifted up with their own glory. They'd seen all that they accomplished and they were thinking that they were you know, great and they were pride, full of pride about it. And Isaiah was saying, woe to the crown of pride and all your glories like a fading flower. And he said, then he, he you know, in, in my edition it's red letters where where Isaiah's quoting what God wants him to say, and he said, Behold, I lay in stone in, in Zion a stone, a, a tested stone, uh, for a foundation, a precious cornerstone. Um, and I just think that, um, you know, to me, that's the way Jesus is. You know, he's a, a precious thing. I think uh, it's what many people are missing in their Christian life is trying to do right, you know, but um, when Jesus is the most precious thing to you, you know, all the rest will just flow into place. Tested stone is like picking through the stone. You're looking for the stone that you know from your experience in working with stone. You know what kind of stresses a stone can take and you're looking at the composition for fissure lines or imperfections and you're discarding those stones and 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 you're you're picking the the stone that you know can handle um, being hewn and and stay true and can support the stress because cornerstone is a foundation stone and, and the structure is bearing down on that cornerstone so well um you know when and God says that He lays in Zion a precious cornerstone. Uh, to me, um, you know, what makes what makes the the reality of, of, of a cornerstone meaningful to me as a Christian, what I understand about God is is that it is the um, immovable object. You know, it's someone we can absolutely trust you know it's not going to fade away it, it's pure there aren't any imperfections in it there, it is um, the things that that brought me to jesus you know when i was a young man out of the army and and just dis, disenchanted with life and all the things that i experienced god put some some ideas in my mind that i acted upon and at the time, I didn't think God was speaking to me, but looking back, I know that He was. And He said, it was Jesus was perfect, and He would never let me down. You know, and that um, I should make Him the center of my life, and not these other things that I had, had been looking for. And when I made a decision in my heart to, to act on that, you know, that's when, uh, you know, I think that's when I, was on the right pathway and I, I came into uh, exposure to the gospel about who Jesus is and what he did and why he died and, and, and what God requires of us you know and so the cornerstone is just like that he is perfect just like a cornerstone is a pure piece of stone without any imperfections in it so that it can truly be a foundation stone and not crack under pressure and just as that thought that Jesus put in my mind hit, he will, he will never let me down. Likewise, you know, that's what the precious cornerstone is all about.